Life on Mars? Mars may not have been an arid wasteland after all, at least according to a new study that suggests the red planet may have been far more habitable than previously thought. Martian meteorites contain a specific mineral that has long led scientists to believe the planet had an ancient, dry environment. The mineral, called merylite, contains no water or hydrogen, which led to the assumption that its origins were likewise devoid of liquid. But new research now suggests that merylite was originally a hydrogen-containing mineral, and that Mars may have had a more water-rich history. When an asteroid or comet collides with the planet, the force of the collision propels Martian rocks containing Whitlocket out into space. Researchers theorized when these rocks enter Earth's atmosphere as meteors, the shock pressure and high temperature sustained during impact, dehydrate the mineral, turning it into merylite. They tested the theory by blasting synthetic Whitlocket with a gas-powered gun at speeds of more than 1,600 miles per hour and with huge amounts of pressure. The shock experiments were sustained for only a fraction of a second, but already resulted in partial conversion, with 36% of the mineral transformed to merylite. The findings suggest Mars could have had a more abundant water supply. It also hints at the possibility of life on the red planet, as Whitlocket is water-soluble and contains phosphorus, which is an essential element for life. More detailed studies of Martian meteorites may provide more insight, but a Martian rock taken and transported to Earth will likely be needed for confirmation. For now, scientists need to make do with thermal imaging and rock sample analysis from the rovers. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching to see what else scientists have found on Mars. NASA finds flowing water on Mars, but they're afraid they might give it Earth cooties. The internet exploded on Monday following NASA's announcement about flowing water on Mars. Alien conspiracists are one step closer to doubling up with an alien on a water slide. Okay, okay, let's keep it real. Pickling may be the best use for that Mars brine. Cue the hashtag California drought jokes on Twitter. Everyone was cashing in on the opportunity for a quick laugh. But we wonder which bottling corp will be the first one to actually cash in. That is, if Matt Damon doesn't lay claim to the flowing salt water first. NASA said they're being careful not to get too close to the water out of fear of possible contamination from earthly creatures aboard the Mars rovers, which may not have been properly sterilized. Come on! What does an Earthling ever threaten another species? Wait, never mind. With NASA receiving less than one half of 1% of the U.S. federal budget, a salt stream front property real estate boom might be what's needed to fuel future Mars missions. And if we do find life there, hey, at least we know we can waterboard them for survival tips. Alien theorists claim to see crab facehugger in Martian cave. NASA's Mars Curiosity rover has picked up some pretty interesting images of the red planet. The latest fascinating image includes one feature that space enthusiasts say looks very similar to a facehugger from the movie Alien, or a giant crab. Can you see it? Here's a closer look courtesy of UFO Vini. Scientists say that seeing recognizable animals or objects in clouds or rock formations is a psychological response called pareidolia. That's why people can see things that aren't there. But what if a giant crab-like creature did live on Mars? That means there's got to be water there too or the potential for all kinds of life forms to exist in a harsh environment on the fourth planet from the sun. David Lazarus from the Los Angeles Times tweeted, Rock on Mars that looks like hideous crab monster identified by scientists as just a rock. This isn't the first time an image from Mars has stirred up us Earthlings. Back in 1976, NASA's Viking 1 orbiter snapped a picture of what appeared to be a face staring back from the Martian surface. It turned out that was just a rock too. NASA confirms existence of liquid water flowing on Mars. NASA has confirmed that there is liquid water flowing on Mars, which is a potential breakthrough in the quest to search for life beyond Earth. According to NASA scientists, liquid water runs down canyons and crater walls on Mars, leaving dark stains in the terrain. These stains, known as the Recurring Slope Lineae, or RSL, occur when temperatures rise above minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The stains disappear during the cold season. 
Scientists discovered perchlorate salts on Mars's surface by looking at infrared light waves reflected from the RSL. The salt is crucial in keeping water in liquid form by lowering the freezing point of water. One possible theory of the origin of the flow of water is deliquescence, a process where salt absorbs water from the air. It remains to be seen whether this discovery will prove that life exists on Mars. NASA researchers will now focus on where the water comes from. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. NASA makes a discovery that could reveal something new about Mars's past. For the first time in four decades, NASA has found oxygen in Mars's atmosphere. But hold up, it's probably not the oxygen you're thinking of. Atomic oxygen in Mars's atmosphere was detected by a specialized 747 jetliner that flew between 37,000 feet to 45,000 feet above sea level in Earth's atmosphere. From our atmosphere, the plane measured the amount of atomic oxygen on Mars by using a spectrometer to observe far infrared waves on the planet. The oxygen atoms were found in one of the upper layers of Mars's atmosphere, known as the mesosphere. Atomic oxygen refers to a single oxygen atom and is different from the oxygen in Earth's atmosphere, which involves two oxygen atoms. Atomic oxygen in Mars's atmosphere fits with scientists' belief that Mars was once warm and wet, with a thicker atmosphere capable of sustaining water and even life. But over time, solar winds are said to have stripped away Mars's atmosphere, causing the planet to become cold and barren. Studying the atomic oxygen in Mars's atmosphere will help scientists understand how and why the life-sustaining gases that once covered Mars billions of years ago has disappeared. Mysterious Mars rock formation, Mars Henge, built by aliens? A circular rock formation spotted in photos of Mars' surface taken in the 1970s by a NASA probe has sparked the curiosity of alien theorists and space-minded netizens who are focusing on the similarities between this and the terrestrial Stonehenge monument in southern England. This image, created by Scott Waring from UFO Sighting Daily, outlines the pattern of rocks in what has been dubbed Mars Henge. Nigel Watson, author of the UFO Investigations Manual, is quoted as saying, Pyramid structures have been regularly spotted on Mars that have been linked to the ancient pyramids of Earth. Now, with Mars Henge, we have a link with our earlier prehistoric structures. Stonehenge is made up of around 100 large upright stones in a circle with horizontal rocks on top. Archaeologists believe it was built in stages starting at least 5,000 years ago. It was once used as an ancient burial ground. Estimates say that every year up to a million people visit the monument, which is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So what do you think? Is there a connection between Stonehenge, Marshenge, and aliens?